Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce generic data link frame structures. All right, so the, a generic data link frame. So taking a look here. First of all, we have data encapsulated in a data link header and a data link trailer. And a lot of times this data is IP, IPv6 or IPv4, could be other things as well. But notice that in a typical data link uh, uh, frame, uh, which is again responsible for NIC card to NIC card communications on the same network. And we usually have some kind of uh, frame start, which we don't always refer to in frame stop, but we'll talk about those more in a moment, but we have some kind of addressing, a type, uh, could have some kind of quality control, and in the trailer we have some kind of error detection. So this is, again, generically speaking, we'll take a look at some kind of uh, more specific examples with uh, Ethernet, uh, both in this video and when we get into Ethernet. But let me kind of mention some of these generic type fields that we might see. So uh, frame start. So frame start is a sequence of bits that basically wakes up the NIC card and gets it to say, hey, start timing yourself because I've got some bits coming in. So we need to be in sync with, with these ones and zero bits as they come in. Think of it as kind of an orchestra leader going, you know, getting every, waking everybody up, saying, okay, we're going to get started, and going one, two, one, two, three, four, getting everybody in timing, right? So that's kind of what the frame stop, frame start does. Uh, frame stop has a, a, a similar kind of uh, job in that it just kind of ends the frame. Says so this is the end of the frame. So, after this, you'll need to resync for the next frame. Okay, we have addressing. And again, depending on what type it is, either Ethernet for multi-access or maybe PPP for point-to-point, -point, we talked about in an earlier video what this addressing might look like. But it's typically addressing the next uh, network interface card address. Remember the Layer three addresses, IPv6 and IPv4, are in the data if this is an IP packet. The type field, the type field says what kind of data am I carrying? Is this IPv4, is it IPv6, is it something else like an ARP request or ARP reply? We'll talk more about all these things later. But it says what is the data? What's in the back of my truck? Okay. I'm going to see that this is very common for all protocol headers, okay, because we'll talk about this later, but with each protocol, but they all have a type field of some sort that says, what is the data that I'm carrying? What kind of data did I encapsulate? Okay, uh, there also might be some kind of quality control field for uh, quality of service uh, or or any, any number of fields. Uh, we'll talk more about these when we get into specific uh, protocols. Uh, we usually have something to do with uh, error detection. That's in the trailer. We'll talk more about that uh, in an upcoming slide here in this video. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the trailer here. So the trailer, okay, I mentioned the frame stop. That's just the end of the frame. But usually what's more significant uh, to what we need to know about is something called the FCS, frame check sequence. And basically this is a way to see uh, that the either a receiving switch or receiving network interface card uh, can determine whether or not all the bits in this frame were received correctly, meaning there wasn't any noise or interference on the line that might have, have corrupted, modified some of the bits. Okay. I'm going to talk more about that. The next slide right here. Okay, so a very common one is known as CRC, Cyclic Redundancy Check. 
So I won't go into the specifics. You can Google this, but let me see if I can kind of keep this simple. So basically what it does is it's take, whoops. Let me go back. There we go. All right, there, I need to click on that. What CRC does, it says, I'm gonna take this information that was sent. And the NIC card that sends it, sends the information, looks at the bits being sent. And using those bits, it does some calculations, some simple binary math using these bits that are sent. And it takes that result and it puts it in here in the trailer. The receiving deck, as it receives these bits, looks at these bits. There shouldn't be one, but basically looks at these bits as they come in. And it does the same mathematical check, the same CRC check, and comes up with a value. So there's a value that is sent in here along with the frame. The receiving NIC is going to make its own calculations, come up with its own number, its own value, and then it will compare what it has with what was sent. If those are equal, then it says, oh, everything arrived okay. If they are not equal, then it says, oh, something got messed up here along the way. Okay? And it would typically discard the frame. Okay, you might want to Google CRC and or look at a YouTube video on it. There's several out there and they're very good. And they can they show you what what that check actually looks like, what that little binary math looks like. Okay, so uh, just kind of looking at some Ethernet uh, or data link frames here, some different ones. Here we have an Ethernet data link frame. Uh, again, here's our preamble. That would be our start. We usually don't really refer to this, and we would be a stop over here. But what we can see is take a look at the address. And remember, there's a source and destination data link addresses, Ethernet MAC addresses. We talked about that in a previous uh, video about accessing the media. Uh, and remember that we'll talk more about that when we get into Ethernet. The type field says what kind of data am I carrying? And here's our frame check sequence, or CRC. And we'll talk more about this Ethernet frame when we get into Ethernet. Okay, the, uh, here's point to point for wireless LANs. And as you can see here, we mentioned earlier, the, uh, the addressing is much more simpler. It's usually just kind of a hey you, bunch of one bits, depending upon the protocol. There's also NFCS. There's also a, a, a field called protocol. Uh, in this case here, it looks like PPP, if I remember correctly, but it says, what kind of data am I carrying? Just kind of generically looking at these right now. Wireless, oh, okay, so 802.11 frames. So this is the IEEE, do my IEEE there, 802.11, and there's different, different flavors of this, uh, you know, A, B, G, N, A, C, etc. But uh, one of the things that you will learn to appreciate if you really get into uh, wireless and looking at the, the Mac layer things is the protocol, the data link header. Uh, so, so let's see here, where do I have my data here? Da, 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 this is frame body. So this here is the actual data. This is the header. Okay, and here's the trailer, the FCS. Now, there's actually three addresses. I won't go into it here. I'll talk a little bit about it in class, what these three addresses are for. Uh, but I want you to look at this frame control. Look at the frame control, and we break it down, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. And this has to do with things like power management and collision avoidance and all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so this duration ID has to do with collision avoidance and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, wireless can can become, uh, I don't want to say complicated, but there's a lot to it to making sure that your information gets there. 
just really quick on these three addresses. Let me just kind of tell you real quick. So if I have my laptop here connected to an access point here, and there's another device here, either on a wired or wireless, doesn't matter, medium. Uh, the three addresses refer to the source address, the access point address, and the destination address. Okay, and not necessarily in this order, kind of depends, but I won't go into the details here, but that's why you actually have three addresses when it comes to wireless. All right, we'll be talking not too much more about wireless, but a lot more about all these addressing when we get into Ethernet.